Hello there. Welcome to the next part of Ice Star. This is the planet Sonata. <clears throat> and the gimmick of this level is these, these metronomes um, belong to the birds and you have to give it to them to make them sing. And it, and it puts a part to the song every time you, every time you deliver one to it. Another one, another one of the little, um, gimmicks of this level is that there is bombs that um, that yeah, that will be placed um, unconveniently so that you'll probably grab them. And the fact that um, some that the main mooks will take will take it off of you and just start swirling around it, <coughs> creating a cool video effect. Anyway, like I was saying about last last um, episode about the, about the Game Boy Advance games we've got, I said the first games we've got, and then after that I got myself a copy of Sonic Advance, I got all the parts with me. During you know, that time I got myself, um, I got to go with my friend of mine was um, the original Pokemon game. Well, more like, more like Gibbon, Gibbon, because uh, I, I seem to keep it. It's broken now, unfortunately, which is kind of fair. Anyway, after after that, I went for, after, after that I went for the good old um, Sonic Sonic games. I got Advanced Three first, then I got Advanced Two because I, um, in my game you could never get Sonic Advanced Two; you could only get three, so I bought three. And then after that, I bought I got myself. Got myself um, Sonic Advance and Sonic Battle. That's on the only part again because well, I wanted to get wanted to get Sonic Battle, and that's the only way I can get it. And after that, I I've acqu I acquired the Super Mario Land six golden coins. Um, game for the Game Boy off of that same friend. And then um, after that, I went. Oh, for good old Yoshi's Island. Which I still have the cartridge now, it's a shame the battery does not work. And after that I went for um, Super Mario Advance 2 and the original Super Mario Advance. Unfortunately for all of them we've got problems because I, I think there may be those um those um those fake ones that you got. Anyway Knew that the gimmick of the, that M um, bone stage was the, the fact that um, the fact that you had to open the boxes to make a stairway up, and there's the bombs I was talking about. And um, about and then, then after the game board comes, there's also called then the uh, like one of these pirate games that had like millions of games on them, um, as well as um, the like, thing is like Harvest Moon or. And all that was on it, and with them, um, with them, um, Super Mario Advance 4 and Super Mario Bros. 3, which I played, and then unfortunately it didn't work, and well, I broke it. Unfortunately, and the top came off of it, so it wouldn't work. We don't know what happened to it anyway. It was never explained. Anyway, in this level, there's the, the bit. The bit I was going through. There's two ways to go through. I won't talk about it because it's the fastest. Anyway, <coughs> the, game, the games that I got after, after that was my new Superstar Saga. I got it with the box, luckily. And after that, I I got I got whilst looking for a new copy of Wario Land 3, I got the original Super Mario Land, Super Mario Land 3 Wario Land. And then, uh, then um, and quite a quite a while later, I got. <coughs> um, <clears throat> I think it was the last year. It was either last year or. I, <coughs> yeah, it was last year. And it was basically that little gimmick that I was telling you about. <coughs> I caught myself a, a good, good copy of my Advance 4. This is my boost, the actual power version this time. <coughs> Then I, then I, then, then I think, I think about it, it was last Christmas, um, kind of December era. I got myself a, I got myself a copy of the NES Classic Super Mario, Super Mario Bros. And then, 
And after that, if I remember correctly, at least then um, I got my copy of Pokemon Ruby. Because then, um, because then um, that, because then um, I'd started, I'd um, started liking the, like, the Pokemon series really, really well, because then um, I'd, I'd got myself, um, Pokemon, um, Pokemon Black 2, Black 2. And then, um, liked it, of course. And then, so I got myself a couple of Ruby. Then, oh, I almost forgot. I got myself um, what looks like a fake copy of Donkey Kong Country 2 when it's not actually. I got the Game Boy Advance version of it. <coughs> it's really good. Game doesn't save though, but again, again, not if not every game's perfect. So and then after that, I got. I got myself a, myself a really cheap copy of um, Pokemon, eh, no, sorry, Kirby's Block Ball for the Game Boy. I was lucky to find this at a such a cheap price because they go, they go for 6 for just, just for the cartridge they go for 16 quid on eBay. Me, I got, I got it for, um, £2. With the, with the little box that you get with them as well. Anyway, the gimmick of this of this boss here is that the, all the heads the heads will um, will attack at certain times and you have to destroy them all and if you're not um, you can get you can, if you're really good at it you can get you can get a really good prize if you get them all before before the first little 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 bit um, of the music kicks in and the little little mooks spawn Anyway, the next next Game Boy Advance game I got was um was a game game that I didn't recommend that I'd, well, I'd played and really wanted it. Was a copy of Spyro 2 Season Season of Three. I must say I do like the, that game. But, and then um, and then just him. Um, Couple, uh, was a couple, yeah, it was a couple of weeks ago. I got myself a copy of Pokemon Leaf Green for a tenner, which is kind of, which is good, good in terms of some standards for um, getting Game Boy Advance games because you can go for quite a lot. And this is the, the official PAL version, which, is, which makes it even better. And then just then just the day, I got myself a copy of Wild Arm Two for the Game Boy Color Japanese version. Um, I think I have. I think I had other games for the Game Boy Advance, but I don't know where they've gone. Like, uh, the, the, they threw out um, Pokemon, Pokemon Red because it broke. Um, that was kind of my fault. Not my fault with this. this um, in the cave going to Lavender Town. Let's see that. And then the Smile Advance 2 we just threw it because it wasn't working anymore. It was um that was it because um the world map for some reason was then um, just um glitched out. When you remember that it's like the it's like um, the, the vanilla vanilla dome um, vanilla, vanilla dome um, cave vanilla vanilla dome um level map loaded up instead of the the donut planes M1. And plus and plus I'd got I'd got to the if I remember correctly, I'd got to the to the fight to the final boss and one against it and it just froze on me. And I didn't realise that this this these were um, these were fakes so far. Fakes M because you can you can tell with the American version if it doesn't have um, if it doesn't if it has Bowser and then Mario and all this on it, it's Probably hmm. <clears throat> Most of my games that I've, that I've got um, actually out of the box, I do own. Most of them I do own the. Own the. Um, 
that man knows them. Um, Sonic Man's 1, 1, 2, 1, 2, and 3 in battle that I've got there. I've got the man who's for what um, I think they're the only games that I do have for um, unfortunately. So even all the games, oh, most of my games were game by fans, I got them second hand, so no, so no wonder. I think um, I think it's two of the other games that I've that I've got Game Boy Advance. I've got their manuals, but most of them most of them I haven't got manuals unfortunately. Actually that's a lie. So I like, um while I did at one point have the Wario Land um so Mario Land 3 um manual but I don't know where it's gone. Because um the person who bought it for me then it, um, got a copy that um, had the manual and the game but not the box but I, mean, I don't really care because it's where I land <laughs> and those games are good I I, I kind of regret, regret to say this but I, even though I love the Wireland games so much I did not officially own, uh, own the, the cartridge for um, Wireland 4 but I have played it because I've got it on because I've got the an ambassador program with the Nintendo 3DS. And I, and it's and I'm kinda ashamed to say it, but I don't I don't I, I don't have Wireland the Shake Dimension or Wireland Shake as it was called here. I've played Wireland the Shake Dimension, but I've not a Wireland Shake, I've played it but I've not but I don't own it. Anyway. What I mean by stuck and have a history, what I mean by that I mean that it took me for it took me ages to get this unlocked on the um, Sonic Mega Collection Plus because you have because you have to play every single game you have to unlock every single game you can get. So I had to unlock the very annoying Flicky. And I don't like that game. Sue me because I don't like it, but I just didn't think like it. I was happy to play. I was happy to play Sonic, Sonic 3, and Sonic and Knuckles many times to get just to get Sonic 3, Sonic 3 and Knuckles, which was worth it. And then play that in the middle times and then get Knuckles and Sonic 2. Wasn't really fussed about that, but oh well, it's an extra game. And then cut that close in that this game. You know, I'm, I, am, I am grateful that I can get a certain game for the Game Boy Advance that has to be about Sonic. I think everybody knows who that game is. Sonic Genesis. You know, it's weird, um, they got away with a good, with a good port of Sonic's Pinball Bone Max and Echo the Dolphin, which were all Mega Drive games. How could they, how could they screw up Sonic, Sonic 1 for Corrupt so badly? Then we've got we've got, we've got um, the Sonic Classic Collection for um, for the DS now, so that so that's got our um, fill of um, Sonic One when the handheld. But I do remember seeing seeing Sonic um, Sonic um, Genesis in the in the shops. They definitely, and I remember, I remember looking at Sonic the Hedgehog 2006 because that was the newest game at the time when I was looking at it. And I was, I was looking, I was looking at Silver, and I thought that was, what was it? I thought it was, um, it was this, a future version of Sonic. And because, um, because during that time, I, Satyam was all the rage with me. Because, um, thanks, thanks to the good old, the good old TV channel, um, Pop, uh, it was a, it's a British one. We were lucky. I was lucky to watch it. Watch it. Watch it loads of times. That and Adventures of the Hedgehog. Just... 
and I do, and I do, and I do it. I do have to admit that I did watch It's Underground when I was, when I was younger. I realise now that it's rubbish, but back then then it was just a single button. I did uh, watch, watch Sonic X as well. In fact, I watched all, I watched all the Sonic cartoons. I never watched the movie till it was, till it was quite a bit of that was. When I was when I found out about the fascination of YouTube and getting movies off of it. Yeah, but um same Sonic X on um Jet X, which is it's unfortunate that it's gone now because I mean that was really good. So it had every every single anime enemy that was popular at the time. It had it had most of the kids stuff like it had had um, good old um Yeah. 